this girl sees that oil is going to spill on her hand so even before it is happening she reacts similarly this girl is riding a scooter she senses that she is about to fall so she stretches her hand in order to protect herself from a bad fall so both these girls sees the events through the eyes but reacts from some other body part so there has to be some communication network between the eyes and the hands or the legs so what is providing or what creates this communicating network well yes see there are fiber like structures connecting all the body parts and these fiber like structures that form a connecting network in the body is known as the neurons so just like a wire carries electrical signals from a switch to the bulb these neurons carry impulses or messages to the different parts of the body because they form a connecting network so this is one neuron now see this portion of the neuron this portion of the neuron looks like a cell it has all the cytoplasmic organelles present inside see you can distinctly understand the nucleus and all the cytoplasmic organelles inside there is also cytoplasm present inside this part and hence this part of the neuron is known as the cyton so this portion is known as the cyton now also notice there are these processes coming out from the cyton these processes the thicker ones these processes are known as the dendrons so these are the dendrons now further smaller processes come off from the dendrons see these are the smaller processes coming out from the dendrons and these smaller processes are known as the dendrites so these are the dendrites that are coming off from the dendron now one such dendron elongates to form this structure and this structure is known as the axon so one dendron elongates to form this structure which is known as the axon now the axon ends in these terminal branches so axons end in terminal branches these are the terminal branches of a neuron so a neuron has a cyton or the cell body which contains all the cellular organelles and the cytoplasm it has processes thicker processes known as dendrons thinner processes known as the dendrites and one such dendron they elongate to form the axon and the axon ends in these terminal branches so what is the direction of flow of information in the body now impulses or signals received by this cyton or the cell body travels down the axon it travels down this axon reaches the terminal branches and from the terminal branches it goes on to the next cyton or the cell body or dendrons of the next neuron so from the cell body it travels down the axon 
and from the axon it reaches the terminal points, the terminal branches. And these terminal branches end in the other cyton or the dendrons of the next neuron. So that is how information flows in the body. Now let us see this. We'll understand it better. See impulses from the cyton travel into the axon and from the axon it goes on to the next cyton. See, a cyton receives the signals, travels down the axon to go into the next cyton of the next neuron. So what is a tissue? Tissue is an accumulation of cell. So similarly, nerve tissue is an accumulation of nerve cells or neurons. So neurons, a lot of neurons together form the nerve tissue. See, a lot of neurons together form the nerve tissue or the nerve fibers. The nerve cells or the neurons are also known as nerve fibers. They bunch together to form the nerve tissue in our body.